What's up, fish friends? My name is Alan, aka Neighborhood Man 323. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you my Venezuelan Cory catfish that I got. So let's get right into it. What's up, fish friends? This is my 29 gallon, currently only holding two balloon mollies, Willie and Braun. Today, they're going to be getting eight new friends. Now, these new friends are peaceful community fish with the scientific name of Corydorus venezuelanus. Yeah, I know. And uh, the common name is the Venezuelan Cory cat. Now, these beautifully red and green fish come from the streams and river of Tui and Lake Valencia drainages in Venezuela, which is ultimately where they got their name. But without further ado, let's release them to the tank and get a closer look. Now because they grow up to 2.2 inches, which is their max size, they will need a minimum tank size of 20 gallons. The more, the better. Same with their grouping size. You want to get six or more. Their temperatures range from 66 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit and their preferred pH is from 6.8 to I'm having a nerd gasm, bro. So before I show you a two-week update, I'm going to feed them first, and so they could be all in the front, and you can see them a lot better. But this is the Fluval Bug Bite, and this is a really high-quality pellet. You can find it in PetSmart or Petco, I think. I'm not sure, but um, I'm gonna teach you a cool trick that I found out. You could turn these little pellets into a sinking wafer for your bottom feeders. So as you can see, these are really small, tiny wafers. I mean, little pellet things. You're gonna grab a little pinch, stick your finger in the water, and you're gonna squeeze and let the water get in there and make it soggy. And once it becomes soft, that's how you know you can release it. So just drop it in and look, it's a flat wafer. 